Hi everybody, it is five o'clock in the morning in Dublin, Ireland. I've just gotten here on an overnight flight from Boston. Feeling a little bit tired, but very, very excited because I'm on my way to Edinburgh, Scotland to meet a very special seller. This is a seller that's actually on the UK television show, Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den is the UK equivalent of Shark Tank. So I'm gonna be talking to the dragon about international selling opportunities, growth on Amazon and new opportunities. I will give you guys an update when I get to Edinburgh and I'm really looking forward to sharing some tips and ideas. I'm in sunny Edinburgh, Scotland and I'm on my way to Shaft's office. He's one of our top sellers and a dragon on the TV show Dragon's Den here in the UK. I'm gonna be talking to him about international growth, how to take advantage of Amazon's global network and I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be a wonderful day. And you can just see how sunny it is here. You might even be able to catch in the background, if I set the lighting, the Scottish Highlands there in the background. So it's a wonderful day and I'm really excited to meet Schaff and talk to you guys and, and share information on some amazing opportunities for international sellers. So Schaff, talk to me about who you are. You're an amazing entrepreneur. What's, what's your background? Well. I, over the years, I've had a number of very, very successful trading businesses. A trading business is effectively a business that buys and sells product or manufactures product and it supplies business to business or business to consumer. And um, a few years ago, I effectively just got involved in investing in businesses. So I sold, stroke, closed down my trading businesses and I just get involved in investment now. Recently, I've been doing a lot of property investment. However, I have very, very recently got involved in an Amazon business and I reached out to you guys to help me out and our partnership. What, what was so attractive about Amazon as a platform? I mean, in many different businesses, is this is this a, Amazon, sort of a new platform that's Am very interesting to you? Amazon, Amazon as a platform is absolutely amazing. You effectively send the product in, they do all the customer service, they have a website which just about everybody in the world visits and providing you have a good product, you have good marketing, you effectively can drive your product to, to the top of the search. It's just a license to print So it'd be really useful for our sellers. I mean, most of our sellers are in the US, but we are growing very, very, rapid glo very rapidly globally. So it'd be good to uh, understand how, how, uh, how Amazon is in the UK. Is it, is, it, is it the platform that people use to buy stuff? I mean, you know. A few years ago, eBay used to be the platform. Mm -hmm. um, where everybody product, it's now Amazon, there's really no doubt about it. I recommend Amazon to just about everybody I know. So UK, Amazon is exploding, you know, consumers, uh, you know, Amazon Prime's taking off. So, so your opportunity is growing. What about other countries in Europe? I mean, ha does Amazon give you the opportunity to do that? Amazon gives you the opportunity to do that. Uh, literally, we could keep the stock in the UK and get Amazon to fulfill from their fulfillment centres into Germany, into France into Italy. Now, this is such a new business that we've got involved in. We've literally not, all we have to do is translate our listings into German, into Italian, into Spanish, and we can we can start shipping there. Is that what you're going to do? That's, then, what, that's what we're planning on doing. We were planning on expanding into China. However, a good friend of mine who runs a, a, a superb trading business in Hong Kong has started negotiating a, a deal with us whereby he will buy the products from us wholesale. So we're discussing an initial five hundred thousand dollar order. Would that be Amazon China or a different platform? It's gonna be it's gonna be Alibaba. It's Amazon China really doesn't work, mm. um, but there is the home the homegrown equivalents in China. So what's interesting? So I think what's interesting for our sellers is the idea of entering Europe through the UK. Have you thought about going the other way to into the US or we, Canada even? We have thought we have thought about that. We've toyed with the idea of finding a partner to do it, you know, to be so we could wholesale the product or alternatively just doing it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Again, that's something we're gonna have to look at in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Um but and, and what about US sellers sort of coming into the UK? I mean I guess there's logistics of you know, VAT is is, is something that's specific to the UK. Um, which isn't, you know, US sellers don't have to go through that. It's a different, I mean, they have all sorts of sales tax problems. Do you know anything about importing in, into the UK or into Europe? I, I mean, you've got lots of manufacturing know, contacts around yeah, the world. I know a number of sellers that actually do that already. Okay. And um, they're quite successful. 
if I get the opportunity, I'm sure, I'm sure one of them has a warehouse and a business just around the corner from here. Mm -hmm. So they rent a building from my investment company, but they're, they're an American company and their UK business is now bigger than the, their American business. Right, right. I mean, and again, to our earlier point of, you know, getting into the UK, but that you know, allows you to potentially penetrate Europe. It's 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 huge. I mean, it's a whole continent that. It is, it is absolutely. I think huge. what's really interesting is as as brands have established. I mean, what we've seen with Amazon is, uh, you know, the resellers, people that are reselling other people's goods, has has kind of declined, and more and more brands who have trademarks, brand registry, and and that's taken off. And when you own your own intellectual property, you have less restrictions of which markets to go through. For example, if you're a reseller in the US, you're going to be restricted to only selling those goods to consumers in the US. But if you're your own brand, the sky's the limit, right? You can sell in any, you, it's your it's your trademark. That's and right. I, I think that's what's so exciting about what you're doing, you know, the trademark stuff that, that you've been working on. How how has that changed with brand registry and and I mean a lot of your business focuses on coming up with fantastic ideas and owning the intellectual property. Uh, absolutely, the whole brand registry concept has been really good for us. It allows us to have enhanced content. It makes the brand a lot more professional. Um, over over and above that, we have our own store within Amazon. That was something that never used to happen before. Right, right. Okay, so that you know that is exceptional. It's driving brand awareness. We've used Amazon Media Group. Mm, you mentioned so the display advertising that, that's that right. test project. Yeah. yeah. So we've done a, a test project where we're spending circa thirty thousand pounds over two months on display advertising. Right. right. And this and these some of the things that you're talking about are actually really new in the US. I mean, we're in, in Seattle with Amazon, and these are the new initiatives. But it's amazing that you're already doing them all the way over here in the UK. I mean, I think the point for sellers is to understand that you know. Amazon is is very very global, and you know the, the 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 initiatives that they're pushing out are the same ones in the U.S. as the U.K. So anyone who can get ahead of the curve, who can understand how to basically run the playbook for each market, is it has an opportunity to go global very very quickly. I Absolutely. mean, I think you're, you, you know, and I know you do do a lot of the work yourself. You're tinkering, you know, and and that's what's so impressive about you as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, but getting your hands dirty and. Kind of understanding the new yeah. the new things absolutely i mean when i started chatting to you guys the first thing i did was understand your your software platform and i tested a number of them and yours was certainly the best one well thanks for saying that yeah it's yours yours was certainly the best one and once i understood it i then basically let the team start dealing with it yeah but i'm very I am very hands-on before we use anything before we do anything i always want to have a play about with it hmm. um so yeah no, it's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for, for having a chat. I mean, I, I've looked at the pipeline of new products that you've got. I mean, there is no reason why you're just not going to grow exponentially. And I think, I, think, I think it's that idea of not only just having the manufacturing opportunities, but the playbook and the team to, to use that intellectual property and then expand. I mean, there's just so many consumers in Europe, UK, globally, um, and they're right there for you. So, you know, really well done. I'm, I'm excited to see it grow. I must say thank you very much for coming out to see us. Yeah, thanks.